Oh my gosh, have you heard all the rage about ChatGPT? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can utilize the ChatGPT AI model to help us solve some of our issues or scenarios within Microsoft Excel. If you're unfamiliar with ChatGPT, it's an AI model that allows you to ask it questions and you can get responses back. Also, you can give it follow-up questions. Maybe you didn't quite get it right or ChatGPT didn't quite get it right. You can ask it for further clarification. First time I used ChatGPT, I was really surprised about how it felt interacting with the system. I would ask it a question. It would give me a response. I could read through the response. Sometimes it would give me a little bit more definition and context behind the response. Other times it didn't but I could also ask it to follow up and give me additional context. Even when it made a mistake or I felt like it made a mistake, I would ask it, hey, I feel like there's a mistake in there. Can you try doing it this way? And it would give me a response back. And a lot of times it would say, oh yeah, no problem. I'll do that for you. It was very polite. So we got the system, the AI model, to interact with us, mere humans, to help us solve our questions. Let's take a look. So open in front of you, I've got a simple Excel document. It's called Excel ChatGPT-01, and it's an Excel file. It's got a single worksheet in there called Sales. Now, if you'd like, you can go down to the description of this video right now, look for the Office Noob link, and you can download this file and follow along with me. Or later on, after you watch the video, you can go back and try it on your own. While you're down there, download the file, Make sure you also give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the video and you learned something new. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about the videos that I upload to this channel on a regular basis. So back to the exercise. Here's what I'd like to do. I wanna take this little list right here, which has got salesperson, product, quantity, and price, and I would like to get a total sales. What's the total sale here? Well, in order for me to do that myself, I would need to take the quantity and price for each row, multiply them to give me an individual row total, get all the totals, and then sum up that total column. That would give me the grand total sales. That's one. The second thing I like to do, very similar, but now I wanna do it for a group of records based on the salesperson. Give me the total sales for this salesperson right here. Now. We could probably sit here and think about a couple of different ways we can do this. Well, we're gonna crack open ChatGPT to help us solve this, these questions, this scenario right here. Let's see how it does. So I've already written out a couple of questions for ChatGPT. That way you don't have to watch me bang on my keyboard. So the first one is, I want it to create an Excel formula that outputs the sum of range C3 to C44 times D3 to D44. So take these, these two columns, multiply them together, and then sum up the results. That's the first one. Then the second question, remember the same thing, just doing it at the salesperson level. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this question, I'm gonna copy the text, and then in my browser, I'm gonna get ChatGPT open here. Now this is the main page for OpenAI, or where I can gain access to ChatGPT. I'll put a link in the description down below. Now, I love this little introduction here. We've trained a model called ChatGPT, which interacts in a conversational way. It really does. I was really surprised about the interaction me, mere human, was able to have with the AI system here. Very cool. The dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit it mis its mistakes, challenge incorrect, and reject inappropriate requests. All right, now I can hit the Try Chat GPT button here. I've already got it open right here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new chat, and then down below in the little question box, I'll paste in my question. Now, sometimes I have seen Chat GPT lag a little bit, but not, not right now, man, it's jamming. All right, the formula that outputs the sum of that range multiplied by this range would be the sum product function. Nice. So I'm gonna copy that. That's the formula they suggest to use. I'll go back to my Excel file and I'm just gonna paste it in right there, H2. Ooh, 
let's let's uh, format that as currency. Thirty-six thousand forty-six dollars and sixty cents. That's total sales. So that's taking quantity times price, giving me the total for each row, and then summing up that range. How cool is that? It did it for me. Let's try the next one. So I want to take it a step further. I want to do that same formula, but I want to do it for an individual salesperson. All right. So back to chat GPT. I'll paste in my new question. I'm going to hit my enter key. All right. So to modify the formula to do what you want it to do, we could do this formula right here. So still utilizing the sum product function. I'm going to copy that formula. And look at that. It gives me a brief description about the formula itself, what it does, and a little bit of tip about what I need to do to get it to work inside my scenario. So right now, it doesn't have the salesperson name. I didn't give that to ChatGPT. So it just used a placeholder there called salesperson name. So I copy that formula, go back to my Excel document, and I'll paste it in right there. All right. Oh, we found a typo in the formula. Okay. So let's see. What do they got inside there? It looks like the asterisks, the little multiplication symbols are missing. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes to put that in there. The sum product function needs the argument separated because I'm using some criteria in here. It's going to use the asterisk symbol to apply the criteria. So I'll say yes for the correction. Now I got a zero, but that's because this placeholder text. I'm going to wipe that out. I'm going to reference Catapan, which is G5. Now, eventually, I want to copy this down for all of the salespeople. So I am going to make these an absolute. I didn't ask ChatGPT to do that, although I probably could. I'll hit my Enter key. $4,793 for Catapan. I'll copy that down. And there's my totals for each salesperson. All through ChatGPT. Right? It did it for me. You just got to know what to do. Imagine you're sitting in a meeting and your boss comes to you and says, hey, I need you to do blah, 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 X, Y, and Z, right? Oh, oh, okay. You run back to your desk and how do I do that? Open up chat GPT, ask it how you would do it. It might come out with the proper response. Now, if I ask it this again tomorrow, it might show me a different way to do it. The more specific you are when you ask your questions, the more specific of an answer you're gonna get from the system. So try this out. When you first get to ChatGPT, you're gonna to need to log in uh, utilizing a Microsoft account or maybe a Google account uh, or creating an account to get into it. So if you haven't used it before, you'll need that, but it is completely free for you to use. They do have an option where you can purchase, where you get some additional bells and whistles, but what I just used right there, completely free. So try this out. If you enjoyed the video, you learned something new about Microsoft Excel and ChatGPT, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.